Western media are reporting that to fight the coronavirus, Wuhan is testing 11 million people in just 10 days. But is this real news or just propaganda? Welcome back to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. With Chinese Communist Party propaganda, sometimes it's really obvious. Other times it's more subtle, like when they talk about cooperation. But they really mean the US had better do things the Communist Party's way. But the worst is when Western media pick up the Communist Party's propaganda and report it without thinking about it. Like this BBC article that uses the Communist Party's propaganda footage and propaganda narrative to show how great they are. Look, China built a hospital in 10 days, so much better than us in the West, even though with some critical thinking, you would know it's not really a proper hospital. It's just a temporary quarantine hospital. That's why the world clearly needs our new segment, News or Propaganda. Earlier this week, Western media started publishing stories about how the city of Wuhan, where the coronavirus outbreak started, was going to test 11 million people for the virus in just 10 days. Here's the CNN headline, which emphasizes that all residents of Wuhan will be tested in 10 days. Meanwhile, the Washington Post talks about the fact that all 11 million residents will be tested after only six new cases were found. The Post says that authorities in the Chinese city of Wuhan plan to test all 11 million residents for the novel coronavirus by the end of next week. And it says the all-encompassing mission contrasts with shortages of testing kits in some other countries, including the United States, where people have complained about not being able to get a test despite having coronavirus symptoms. Wow, China is just so great. Their system can really get things done, unlike America. A lot of other Western media are carrying similar stories. Now, this was first reported by Chinese state-run media. And the origin of these stories is this government order, which came after a new cluster of coronavirus cases in Wuhan. But here's the thing about this story. It's not true. The city of Wuhan cannot actually test 11 million people in the span of 10 days. Sure, it sounds amazing, wow, so much better than the US, but it's not possible. Yet many of the prominent Western media reported this verbatim, while completely failing to question whether Chinese authorities could actually do it. Chinese state-run Health Daily reports that if pushed to the absolute limit, the Wuhan government's current testing capability is 100,000 tests per day. And a bit of third grade math would tell you that if you want to test 11 million people at that rate, it could not be done in 10 days. It would take more than three and a half months. Now, some of the Western media reports do kind of mention the numbers. The Guardian says that Chinese newspaper Caixin Global reported that the rate of testing was limited to a maximum of 100,000 a day. Reuters also hints at this, saying that since Wuhan's lockdown was lifted on April 8th, the city has conducted an average of 47,000 tests a day. But the main takeaway from the vast majority of Western media stories is that Wuhan authorities will test 11 million people in 10 days. Some Chinese media have tried to break down the numbers. According to state-run Yitzai News, there are also private labs in Wuhan that could do, at max, 360,000 tests a day. But adding that to the 100,000 tests from the government still doesn't get you close to the 1 million a day that they'd need. Meanwhile, Health Daily reported that if you subtract the number of people who have recently been tested, then the government only needs to do about 730,000 tests a day. But they're still not anywhere near that. But that's not a problem, because it looks like the Wuhan government never intended to test the entire population of the city in 10 days. Remember that government order I showed you earlier? The wording around the 10 days part was unclear. 
Now, the government is saying that each district in Wuhan will have 10 days to carry out their own testing, and the districts will stagger their testing. To manage the high demand, districts will start testing on different days, and each will be given 10 days to complete the task, according to an official at Wuhan CDC. So it looks like Wuhan authorities will test everyone for the coronavirus, but just not in 10 days. Or maybe they won't test everyone after all. The chief epidemiologist at the Chinese CDC told state-run media this week that it's not actually necessary to test everyone in the city. And as the LA Times, which has reporters in Wuhan, points out, the 10-day time frame appeared implausible based on the city's testing capacity. It was also somewhat impractical given that the limited accuracy of the nucleic acid virus tests were not followed by restrictions on movement. So someone could still get infected after they've been tested, which means you don't get a good count of how many people are infected. The more you look at this story, the weirder it gets. Remember, according to the government, this all started because they found a cluster of six coronavirus cases in Wuhan. If they're testing everyone in Wuhan because of this, you've got to suspect that they're either freaking out because they actually found way more than six cases, or this big testing push is just a massive propaganda campaign. Or maybe a little from column A, a little from column B. Now, one thing that's definitely true is that testing has started in Wuhan. We know that because of propaganda footage released by Chinese state-run media. That footage, delivered to hundreds of Western TV networks, will now be used by Western media as proof of how Wuhan is testing 11 million people in 10 days. But now we know that's not true. Still, that line is being pushed in English by Chinese state-run media. They know a good propaganda opportunity when they see it. So is Western media picking up the story news or propaganda? The answer is both because it's definitely propaganda. But it's also important to know how the Chinese regime is reacting to new coronavirus outbreaks. I need a new word for this. Maybe newsaganda. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Now it's the time for me to answer questions from you, my loyal 50 cent army, fans of the show who support what we do through the crowdfunding website, Patreon. Joe Ruay asks, I know it can seem like the CCP is making moves in Hong Kong and Taiwan and the South China Sea while the world is distracted by the virus they delivered to us. Do they actually have the funding or power to do anything decisive at this time? Maybe it's all bluster. Great question. I would say that the CCP definitely has the power to keep cracking down on Hong Kong while the world is distracted by the coronavirus. I've talked about this in several recent videos. And they're only going to keep going. That's because the government of Hong Kong is pretty much already under their control. In terms of Taiwan and the South China Sea, part of it is indeed bluster. But even if the CCP doesn't have the power right now to make a big move, they still are trying to push the boundary of what they've been able to do before. That's because they're looking for how other countries will respond. If other countries don't push back, they'll keep going. A good example of this is back in 2012. The Chinese Communist Party used Chinese fishing vessels and Chinese Coast Guard ships to block access to the Scarborough Shoal. This led to a standoff between Chinese ships and Philippine Navy ships. But in that case, the U.S. didn't send ships to support the Philippines, and the Chinese Coast Guard has been able to maintain control over the Scarborough Shoal pretty much to this day. We went to the Scarborough Shoal back in 2016 on a Filipino fishing boat. That was just weeks after China started letting Filipino boats back to the shoal. But even then, Chinese Coast Guard ships were guarding the mouth of the shoal and wouldn't let boats enter. That was quite a trip. We'll put a link to that episode below. Thanks for your question, Joe Roy, and for all of you watching. If you want to stand up to the Chinese Communist Party and YouTube censorship, consider joining the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. You'll have a chance to ask me questions on the show, and there are some other cool perks as well. Check out patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. And be sure to subscribe and check back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for new episodes because YouTube isn't always sending out notifications about new episodes. 
Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.